Let's have a look at today's feature. With hits like Ridge Racer and Tekken under their pants, Japanese software supremos Namco undoubtedly produced some of the best 32-bit games around. So when they sent us a large bribe to preview their latest PlayStation stuff, we said, oh, all right then. Rage Racer. No, not Rave Racer, which was Namco's follow-up to Ridge Racer, but Rage Racer. They obviously like the word. Out next February, it's an all-new driving game from the Flatbits Pfft, Give Me Steep Steep Hills School of Game Design. 13 cars to choose from, which you can even customise, but unfortunately, the choice of four tracks doesn't really compete with F117. Next up, at Namco's latest beat-em-up, a conversion of their arcade hit, Soul Edge. Slightly faster than Tekken, the game has 10 characters wielding weapons bigger than mine. There's some superbly inventive ways of breaking bones as well that even Manchester youths don't know about. A new weapon select option allows players to tool up with two foppers at once, while others will go for the more direct approach. Soul Edge is released next March. Last to be released, the long-awaited conversion of Namco's answer to Virtua Cop, Time Crisis. Only 50% complete, like myself, this preview version shows it's lost nothing in the translation. The good news is that all the original's 12 stages are in there, plus a completely new area. And if you are wondering, a second button on the gun that comes with the game replaces the arcade's pedal to provide the dodge function. Time Crisis is out next April and should be Jungle's Massive.